Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to cook lengua estofado. Hmm. Here are the ingredients for lengua. Of course, we will use the beef tongue. To prepare this, you will have to boil it with salt and then until tender if you use a pressure cooker it will take for a one kilo lengua um, it will take like 45 minutes to an hour for if you will just boil it in a pot it will take you like uh, with this one it took like two hours or it really depends on the kind of uh, lengua that you have you just have to poke it to know that it's okay and tender and then when it's done you just have to peel it the the outer skin the rough part and then you slice it like this okay we will be needing three or four medium-sized potatoes cut like this and carrots to medium size we need the green peas i like using the frozen ones tomatoes, garlic, and onion, red bell pepper, medium size, mushroom, I use the canned, we will be needing a little bit of um, butter, tomato sauce, olives, salt, olive oil for saute, and we can, I'll be using also a bouillon, the powder bouillon. You can use the cube one. And I'll be needing the ground garlic, black pepper, and the paprika. Okay, first is we will have to fry this one until there's a nice um, touch of brown in here. Okay, now we will fry the potatoes quickly. Just a quick. In medium heat. Okay, now this looks perfect. You know, there's like a little brown thingy on the side, but you don't really want it to be brown all throughout. So, this is okay. Next will be the carrots. Good. Okay. The reason why I like to fry the potatoes and carrots before mixing it to the whole um, dish is because it will give you a very nice different texture and now we will put on the carrots mm -hmm. you will do the same thing like the potatoes how I did with the potatoes I mean with the carrots you don't need to fry it longer as the potatoes because the carrots you can eat it even when it's fresh no you just have to do like a quick fry and um, turn it on the other side you don't need to wait for it to be brown on the side This should be okay. So turn it off. Okay. 
Okay, now you put on the olive oil, just like two tablespoon olive oil, a little bit of butter, like um, one tablespoon of butter. just to have a nice aroma put on the garlic onions Just have to cook the onions a bit. Now that almost all the ingredients are cooked, it is just so easy to put everything in here. So if you are like hosting a party you can pre-cook the lengua already in advance but not the vegetables so it's easy and for you on the day of the party you can do it right away you can finish the dish right away you just have to cook the tomatoes You can add this, you can add the tomato sauce, lower it a bit. one and a half teaspoon of beef bouillon pepper paprika okay garlic powder and the uh, parsley let it boil and you can taste it mm, yummy and by the way, I forgot to um, tell you earlier that we also need a little bit of water. At this stage, you can put the tongue slowly. You just coat the tongue with the sauce, let it simmer. At this time, you can add the water also. Maybe one half to a cup of water. Some Filipinos always put a little bit of sugar to neutralize the sourness of the tomato sauce. So you can also do that if you like. But with this one, I like it without the, a bit of brown sugar. <laughs> okay. So in medium heat, let it simmer for a few minutes, like 10.
Okay, now you can add the carrots, the peas, potatoes, looking good and smelling good, and the mushrooms. We just have to simmer them together for like two to three minutes. And then we can add the red bell pepper, the last one. It's looking good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Um, some people don't like a thick sauce, but um, I want it a little bit thick so I can add like cornstarch with a little bit of water. But it's optional but because with this, it's already okay. And then at this point, you can taste it. Mm. Now you can add the red bell pepper. Mm. So let it simmer for another three minutes and it's done. Beautiful. You can add salt and pepper at this stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, Mama is cooking. Yeah. Mama. Oh, by the way, the olives. <laughs> you can add the olives. Mama. No, no, no. Wow. Someone is hungry. Yeah, I think. Amara. Amara. Mm-hmm. So you just put the olives just before turning it off. And if you want it to be to be the if you want the sauce to be a little bit thick, you can put cornstarch with a little bit of water. See, it's a little bit um, thick now. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. And voila, so pretty. This is our finished product. Looks good. Please like and subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up or give us a comment if you wanted us to cook something that you want. Thank you. Olivia, here is your dinner. Wow. You like that? What do you like? <laughs> Mushroom? Okay, poke it. Okay, you blow it first because it's hot. Mm -hmm. Blow, blow. <laughs> okay, it's a bit hot, huh? Mmm, yum yum. It's lummy. Mmm.